If you would like this hat or other merch for yourself, please check out my new store at Teespring. Find it in the description down below. Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Baldur's Gate 3. And right now we're at this chapel entrance. And there are many ways for us to get in here. One is that we can unlock this door. Another way that we can get in and the way that we probably are going to get in is going to be right up here. And there is at least a third... Well, I... Yeah, I think there's three ways. Because I think that the door down here might be unpickable. So I don't think this is one of the ways that we can get in. But you may have noticed we got some cracked stone here. And we've got this right here. And there might be something we can do about that. Um, let's see. Hello, you have a crossbow. What to do? Boom. Oh, <laughs> they are unhappy. Um, uh oh. You're not supposed to be there. Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> really? Why? <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that? Alright, this is concentration and it takes a spell slot, so I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. Um, symbiotic entity is active because we've got that extra health. Now, is it only our regular attacks that get things, or do we get bonuses from, like, magic and stuff? Hmm, you know what? Very well. You're gonna go here. Is Thunderwave hitting that guy in the back, too? No, but we might be able to get him. Okay. Then I'm gonna have you move out of the way a little bit. Oh, I guess I should have checked that first, huh? Okay, that's okay. We won't get that off yet. Um, can I get you up? No. Damn, that sucks. Why did it have to start me off <laughs> like that? Blood comes easy these days. Jesus. Okay, get him back up. Um, you do have Firebolt. Okay, that helps us out. We are outnumbered for sure, so you know I like that. And I'm going to put you right here in the doorway. You are probably my highest AC anyway, so... No action because you got raised this round, I'm guessing. Okay. Then I want you to kind of tuck back here where hopefully you won't get attacked. That sucks. Dude, we're getting railed on. 23. Okay. Eighteen hit points on the wolf. You've got thirteen hit points. Spider's got twenty. Let's see what the spider can do. So I'm in a wild shape. You have unlocked an action as the result of another ability, feature, or condition. It will remain at the side of your hotbar until those conditions expire. Okay, we can dismiss wild shape here if we wanted to. 
Okay, what does web do? Spell a thick flammable webbing that slows creatures within and possibly enwebs them. Mm. Cannot move. Attack rolls against the affected entity have advantage. Attack rolls have disadvantage. Also has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Um, if I do this, I'm going to have a hard time getting out too, though, which might be a problem. Mm, I'm going to do it, though. You have an advantage on attacking an enemy, letting you sneak attack it to deal more damage. You must have advantage. Okay. Yeah, man, these guys have a lot of HP. Let's see if we can take one guy out. Okay. Um, I doubt I can hide right now. This guy's staring right at us. If I could get into the corner, but I don't know how if that would help us at all, so... Okay. These are the moments where we actually will reload. Uh, early on, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of options for reviving, so... It is what it is. Like, I'm not interested in save scumming. But, like, we're going to fail sometimes. Battles are going to fail. We're playing tactician. But it's not like if I fail, like, a, a situational roll or something, I'm going to reload. Yeah? Oh, look, he's actually down here now. <laughs> um, okay, so. That's your offhand. You have Firebolt? What is that, like an elf thing, maybe? How do you have Firebolt? Okay. Spill some blood. Target is too far? No, he's really not. Okay, one of them missed. Why am I missing my bonus action? Oh, because we double attack, that's why. Survival is all that matters. Did everybody save? Not really sure. Um, am I close enough? Nope, we gotta move up a little bit. Uh, that was not- No! Okay, you know what? These are the things that are gonna happen. I'm just gonna- <laughs> Fuck me. I'm surprised it tells you what they rolled. All right. Let's see. Gale is going at the same time. Now, because there's so much HP out here, sleep probably isn't going to be that useful. Combine 24 hit points. So, like, it could maybe get one person. Just because these guys all have really, really high 
stuff. Um, here's what I'm going to try. We are going to blow them up again. Bless. He honestly might be going down. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bless you, you, and you. Dude's a barbarian? Sorry, homie. Nice. Alright, how are you doing? Your health is pretty good. You technically still have your... Disadvantage for what? Oh, because of poison. Um... I don't think this gets rid of anything like that. Damn. Is everything disadvantage? Okay. Sixty percent on that. Swift as my feet. Oh, that was a mistake. I forgot this guy was actually in here with us. Yeah, we're not doing so hot. This is a tough one. That's not useful. Uh, we're gonna fail. Okay, they rolled a 13. I don't even have a spell slot for this, do I? Was that a bug? Whose turn is it? Okay, so I think getting hit when you're downed is, um... I think getting hit when you're downed like that is two automatic fails, if I'm not mistaken. So when they hit you when you're already down... It truly hurts. <laughs> okay. So, this isn't the strongest team ever. There's no doubt about that. Um, 
Like, Lizelle actually probably would be pretty useful here to kind of block that door. But we don't have that, so... We just gotta live with it. Time to press ahead. Um, instead of going in this way, maybe I'll show you that third option. And then we'll see if we can maybe approach this differently. Anybody else want to do those checks? It's packed too tight. Damn, where are all the shovels? Okay, got two of those relatively close by that we need to get. All right, let's see if we can even get in this way. I believe that we can. May require some checks, but... Dagger root. And... Let's see if we can lockpick this. So, look at that. Dexterity plus three. Sleight of hand plus two. Sleight of hand expertise plus two. Eight to eleven bonus. Difficulty class is twenty, so we need it. Alright, we didn't get it. Okay, should we try again? That'll... Hmm. We don't have a ton of thieves' tools. I'm gonna try one more time. Might be a mistake, but we're gonna do it. Okay. There we go. Here we are in a completely different area here. Use a light source like a torch or the light spell to see in the dark. Creatures with dark vision. I have to see if um, there's a way to turn off those automatically going away. Um, where would that be? Somewhere in here probably, right? What does that mean? Share private moments? Certain scenes are private. This means that in multiplayer, other players cannot witness. Ah, it doesn't matter to us. Okay. Um, oh, also, we should probably decide if we want karmic dice. I think that's naturally turned on. I don't know. I think we should probably turn that off. Karmic dice avoid failure or success streaks. So in other words, it sort of weighs it a little bit. Yeah, let's keep it actually random. Um, so that it's not weighted for or against us at any point. Um, apparently, like, they've had to rebalance this before, but I don't know. What are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Karmic Dice, what do you think? Okay. Um, let's see. I forgot that was even a thing. Let's see. Karmic, camera shake, twitch extension. It's probably an interface, right? Got subtitles. Shouldn't be anything in there. Damn, there isn't an option for that. It's really irritating. There's nothing more than I that I dislike than having like things that you want to read just disappear on their own. Just because they decided it's time for it to disappear. It's like, no, you have a little X on it. Let me clear it. <laughs> it's there for a reason. It's so I can freaking read it. Um, okay, but we can go to journal and we can look at stuff here. But um, let's see. Use Torch, use Light Spell. I don't think we have anybody with a Light Spell right now, but many of our party members have Dark Vision. I think Gale is the only one who doesn't have Dark Vision, which will help us a bit, but... In fact, I have Advanced Dark yeah. Vision. 
Let's get on with Let's it. see. You don't have any light spells. Trust no one. Can't afford to stay out. You know, I can check the spell book, though. You might have one in the spell book. Nope, not seeing him. Okay. You? Have my attention. Nope. Still breathing, despite everything. Alright, well. Wonder if the gods are watching me. So you can actually see the difference uh, by switching between the characters. Someone there. So, Don't supposedly. Oh, never mind. It used to be the case. I don't think he has dark vision, but maybe we're just never in a more lit up area. Maybe I'll try and show that to you later. These boots have seen everything. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. Okay, quarterstaff. Staff. so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Okay, anything we want What's here? here? What's in here? Get our loot. You can't learn spells, right? No. You just have access One, to all the spells. Two. You can learn spells, though. So, yeah, Burning Hands was one of the ones that we almost took. I'm kind of glad we didn't, actually. Oh, so that one costs more because technically Detect, detect Thoughts is a level 2 spell. This is a level 1 spell. Whoops. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's get going. Cool. Okay, what do we got? A heavy key? How's my weight doing? We're doing okay. I mean, you said it. Where was that? Right here? This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Okay, Arcana's not our best. Neither strength. Search for an arcane rune to sabotage. And it's a high class, okay? Difficulty class 15. Odds are not in our favor. Oh my gosh, okay. The guidance brought it back. Minus one and then a plus two. That was brilliant. Gotta love it. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Okay, religion check. Little, little bit easier, that's good. <laughs> Can't get it.
Okay, when did we get an inspiration point? Um, at some point we did something that gave us inspiration in the game. Um, so that's what that roll again is. You notice that it says use inspiration and in parentheses has one. Um, we found one inspiration point. Now if I'm not mistaken, you can only have up to four inspiration at any given time. So there, there are opportunities that you could end up, um, uh, you know, uh, either getting too much, which I think that it rolls into experience if you get more than four. Um, then the next one will be like worth 25 experience or something. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use this. I'm going to see actually if I can have maybe Shadowheart read the book. She might be able to try this religion check the herself. The longer you stare at the dark and decimated words, the more your head aches. There is no meaning to be found here. Okay, so here's what I'll do. Uh oh, can I not interact with it at all now? Oh yes, I can. Okay. What's next? Do you want to try this? The names of the dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken through. The final three, thoroughly enough to be completely illegible. No. Okay. Um. No, you'll pick up the book. I don't know if this is important, but we're going to take it with us. Um, we just failed that check. It is what it is. I like I said, we're not going to save some stuff like that. Like, we'll have to redo fights on this difficulty, but we don't have to save scum other things. And also, I don't think having to restart a fight is save scumming. That's just part of playing a game. <laughs> Especially when you're playing on hardest difficulty, too. Okay. That's Jurgle. Scribe of the dead. I didn't think anyone still worshipped him. Okay. Uh, read the plaque. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Okay, I've got to decide. I'm probably going to end up switching out one of these characters. It's probably not going to be Shadowheart. I think Shadowheart's part of the main team. Um, ever since I started Early Access, I've always wanted Shadowheart on the team. So, um, But one of these two might be switched out for um, somebody who's a martial class. So Lizelle could be that, and there's another character later on that is probably going to end up being main party. But I, haven't, I don't know where to find that character yet. So uh, We got that. Something over there. Oh, we've done it now. <laughs> Hells. Something just woke up down here. Oh, look at us. We did really good on our initiative. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Um, why don't you move up? Now, if we get a good opportunity for this, this could be pretty useful. So turn undead. I'll have to keep an eye out for an opportunity for that. I'm going to give it to you, you, and you. <laughs> So they're all blessed. They get an extra D4 on their attack rolls. Nothing will stand in my way. And for you, let's see. You do have your entity. Okay, so we don't want a wild shape. If we lose our entity, then I might wild shape after that. Best be on my way. Now let's see. We've got this. Oh my God! The HP pools on these guys is nuts. We might need to come back to this area. This was like a low level area in early access, but these guys are crazy strong right now. Wow. Okay. This is good. Like, do they have crazy armor classes too? AC 15. I mean, 
They're not terrible. That one's nine. Okay, he'll be easier to hit. What about you? Nine. Okay, so maybe you're the toughie. Now, the nice thing is, is that technically we took all their weapons while before they were raised, so um, they're going to be a little bit gimped. Okay, um, this is one of those moments where I should probably get him up high, because I think if he's up high, then he gets advantage on people that are lower than him, and then he can start using these. Deal extra damage to a foe you have advantage against. So I really probably should do that. Yeah, they have a lot less HP, so he's, he's just like the toughie here, huh? One of them taken out of the running. Now I think we're only blinded while we're in the cloud. Could be wrong about that. Okay, throwing shit at us. Okay, no longer blinded. There we go. Okay, so I can shillelagh. I can use my spores. He saved. So let's shillelagh. And boom. Got some of our extra damage from the symbiotic entity. Cool. Honestly, he's the one that we should probably use Turn Undead on. 25%, that's it? It worked. Okay, no longer blinded. We don't think we have any advantage. We do have Bless, which is going to help us hit. And right now we have double weapon attack. Oh, that gets rid of that? Okay, so if you attack him, it gets rid of that. I didn't know that. All right, gotta learn those things. It's, it's those little details that you sometimes miss. Deal extra damage to a foe you have advantage against, so. All right, cool. So we got to use our reaction there too. Yep, you're done. I don't fancy their chances. On my way. Okay. 6 to 15. So you technically could kill him if you roll really high. I don't think we can get close enough. Well, let's see. Is that close enough for burning hands? Ooh, we barely still have our entity. Okay. He seems to really want to keep us blinded. <laughs> Man, they all want to blind us. Okay. I guess since they don't have much else to do. Damn, aren't you blinded too? What the hell? <laughs> Pop a potion. Um, 
Does he get a reaction if he's blinded? I don't think he does, right? I can't even see a circle, so... I have to assume he will not get... Okay, cool. And now... Let's see. I can do that. No, we can't get the angle on it, huh? Okay, so I can't just... I can't get the shot off from here. Why not? Rude. Can you shoot him from here? Why, though? Why do you want to move so far? I guess this is in the way. Okay. Um... We don't have a bonus action, so we can't bonus action dash. Damn, I kind of want to get into threatened range, but I think we're just short. Because then he would have to disengage to move away from us. And it would also give him disadvantage on anything that he tried to range at anybody else. Still breathing, despite everything. Path lies before me. I guess I could have shot down at him. Okay, so Ray of Frost is what's been slowing us down, but I guess I can't see you guys either. Target is out of sight. Um, is there an AoE that I can just plop into a location? This one's an AoE. Nice! Okay, got the kill. Not close enough for that. Okay, good effort. Can't win them all. Go here to start. Let's cantrip. What's the damage? 1 to 10. So, I mean, it could kill him. Okay, rolled a little low. That's okay. Concentration gone, so that fog cloud went away. There's our reaction. All right. He's a caster, he wanted to get away from us, but... A silence aura, okay. So most spells require you to actually do some kind of like spoken word incantation. I forget what it's called, is it called evocation? Like a lot of spells require you to be able to speak. So a silence bubble actually does stop casters who require that from being able to do that. So just keep that in mind. Um, in fact, can I see that? Um, I don't have any spell slots, so I'm not sure if it... Yeah, silenced as well. So we're out of spell slots, so we couldn't do some of this stuff, but even our cantrip can't be done because it's, you know, requires us to be able to speak. Another fight. Let's go. Um, all right. You, I think, have shillelagh, act shillelagh activated. You've made a grave mistake. <sighs> These boots have seen everything. Okay, I doubt you're going to be in range. Yeah, you got good range, but not that far. Uh, how's your health? Your health is doing great. If I can get you in front. No, not quite. That's okay. Um, you've been better. Just in case there's some decent AoEs he's going to try and throw at us, I'm going to spread out a little. Okay. Okay, let's get out of this. Then we can shillelagh. So yeah, if my weapon's glowing, the shillelagh is activated. 
us, even after death. They're unthinking cadavers. I may as well feel sorry for a breadbasket. All right. Let's do another short rest. Hold on. I should actually activate this and then do the short rest. I'll feel that one later. Everybody's topped off. Okay. We already looted these guys, so that fight would have been harder had we left the weapons on these guys. They would have had more options, especially this one. Um, but yeah. Okay. Um, we may, before we get into any more... to hide one sarcophagus. Before we get into any more big fights, I may actually do a long rest, go back to camp, and maybe we'll switch Lizelle in for a while. Um, because having at least one really good martial class, like, Druid can do both. They can be a spellcaster and physical, and, and like, Vernak is capable of doing both, but their AC is not always the greatest. We haven't found any armor, have we? Not anything that's better. Um, so this is an armor class 11, but we'll, I think you have um, medium armor proficiency, which means that you should, yeah. And a shield. We need to get you a shield, too. And then your, your armor classes will be so much better once we get you a small shield of some kind um, and maybe some armor that's closer to, like, 13 or 14, which shouldn't be too difficult to do. We can easily do that. We just haven't found it yet. Oh, it's still here. Okay. An amulet that has speak with dead. So some amulets that you wear can give you extra spells that you can do. Which is really nice. Oh, that's gross. A hyena ear. Okay. You can go ahead and wear that, and you'll notice that now we have Speak with Dead as an option in our actions. Um, it's a ritual. It's always prepared, um, but you can only use it once per long rest. But one thing that you could do in early access is if you used your Speak with Dead on this character, you could actually equip it on another character, and then that character would be able to use it um, as well. So you can kind of move it around a little bit if you feel like you want to do that. Oh, and I guess I can tell you what it does. Grant a semblance of life to a humanoid corpse, allowing it to answer up to five questions. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Man, we are covered in blood right now. <laughs> we need a bath. Look at this guy. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Asking the hard questions, huh? So he has spoken? What he are you talking about? An arbiter of certain matters. But that is not important now. Wilt thou answer my question? Okay, ask away. So, I ask again, what is the worth of a single mortal life? You know, I'm gonna go with this one right here. That depends on a person's deeds. 
I am sure thou believest as such. Now what do you think, bro, Mr. I Withers? Will. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. And he just... Alright. Old Bone Withers is just going to walk away now. That wasn't strange at all. One question and he's gone. Ooh, what is all this? Lightning resistance. Cool. A simple toxin. I need to start seeing if I can throw some of this stuff sometimes, huh? It all gets added to the menu here, I think. Oh, look at that. I don't think that was in early access. Maybe it was. I am sometimes very dumb and miss very obvious things. Huh. Cool. The oil of diminution. Coat your weapon in oil. A minus one penalty to damage, but targets failing a constitution save suffer disadvantage on strength checks and saves. I'm guessing also if it's if your weapon is oiled, you can probably light it on fire, get some fire damage maybe? I don't even know if you need oil to light a, a weapon on fire. I should probably check that at some point. Um, because they have this dip thing that I don't use very often, but I should figure out how it works because it's probably useful. A soul coin. Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. Using it, there's like a bonus action attached to it. A strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Interesting. Uh, that's going to be something. That's going to be a currency for something. What? Who knows? Oh, hi, Withers. We have nothing more to discuss. Continue on thy way. As if I were not here. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. Soon. What a mysterious dude. <laughs> you better not follow me. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? When the time is proper. I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest here, the farther away our second meeting becomes. Okay. Well, we went in the door over here. Well, now we need to go through here. Yep. Uh, nowhere else to go there. So, like, if there's places to jump to, you'll see, like, these outlines somewhere around here. So, if I saw that, then I would know that I might be able to go deeper into this. Um, but this is basically telling me, hey, you've, you're good. You're good there. Man, this new map is great. I really like this new map they've got. Okay. Don't have a key for this, huh? Yeah, we're going the wrong way right now. Okay, difficulty class on this one is much less than the last one was. We can beat a 10. Look at all these bonuses he's got. Let's go. Turn that 11 into a 20. This place wasn't built for the living. Okay, we can pick up another torch. Desire. Honestly, if somebody should be holding a torch, it should be you, huh? Now. Let's send one of these to Gale, since he doesn't have dark vision. Oh, you already have one equipped? Never mind. Uh, how do you just use that, though?
Hmm. Okay. Okay. I've got a long road ahead. Something good here, I hope. Protection from evil and good. Let's see, there's the book. An excerpt from ongoing metatext rebound by Josefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denair for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the metatext for God's an annal of lost and hidden knowledge. I can read, I promise you guys. I can read. <laughs> of what value is a life far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely. Or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds beliefs and stations in life, but even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor, weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route, not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realm wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. Ooh, class system talk here, huh? I have interviewed those who have made such a return and in truth have found them to be the most dull and unimaginative sort that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. <laughs> if a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps one day this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Okay. So this person wants to explore death, like, first-handed. Um, what is this worth? 14? Sure, why not? We'll pick it up. We'll sell that. Should mind my step. Oh, where are you going, bro? Come on, Vernak. You got this. Okay, some more of those. And a silver necklace. I don't know if there's any kind of enchanting system where I could, like, enchant certain things. Um, maybe there will be, but until we figure that out, I'm going to add e all of that jewelry to our wares. Be careful. There are traps about. Okay. I'm glad you saw it since I failed my perception check. Um, let's see, actually. We can look at everybody's. Um. So let's see. Where's perception? You got a plus five, so yours is actually really good. So you actually do have the best perception. At least things have stayed interesting. Step carefully. There's a trap. Okay. Uh oh. All right. Watch how you go. There's a trap. There's shit everywhere here. Most of them, seems like. 
Be wary. This place is trapped. Another soul coin. Ooh, here we go. Oh, that's a heavy armor. I thought that was going to be medium armor. Damn. Okay. A flail. Oh, I should have just added it to wares. I don't think anybody's going to be using that. Um, I can't remember if Shadowheart is only medium armor or not. I think they I think that clerics can can take a uh, proficiency in yeah, okay, not proficient with heavy armor. I think that that is an option at some point in their class. All right, what now? But she doesn't have it, so. Um, which means I'm going to send that back, because Lazelle might end up using that. All's well that ends not as bad as it could have. All right. Very well. Now, what now? You're gonna have the best ability to disarm huh. this, I think. Now, if you fail a, if you fail a disarm check, I wonder if it triggers the trap. We're not going to find out today. Okay, so you got that. You're also a trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Simple. Ooh. So if I roll again, it doesn't use up another thieves tool, right? So those are our two options. We either use an inspiration or we use another thieves tool. I'm going to use the inspiration. Why not? I should probably use them on better things. Oh, ah. Man, it was so close with the bonuses, too. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get that one. Damn, man, that's unfortunate. We're gonna need to find some more thieves' tools. <laughs> oh, loading screen. Oh, that's this door. Okay, I honestly didn't need to, but once again, I said we're not save scumming, so. <laughs> but yeah, we absolutely did not need to do that. I wonder. What to do? No traps, please. Okay, so we disarm the trap, so it should be safe to grab this, huh? That may have opened that door. Yeah, that's on me. <laughs> okay. Um, the Watcher's Guide. Let's see. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against that target gains true strike. Okay. Now, let's see. This is a versatile weapon. Is versatile the, the weapon class? Uh, where does it tell you? Rapier. Oh no, down there. So this is, counts as a spear, which I do have proficiency in, but spears can't use shillelagh. So. We'll see if somebody needs that. Add that to wares. We're getting higher up on our weight. No one back home will ever believe this. All right, combine everybody. Everybody can follow again. Don't waste a step. 
Okay, those two sides are done. This way is left to go. All right, so we're going to go and explore there in the next episode. Thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Andrew Smith, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Chris Smith, Vlado101, Andy Ford, The Blue Electric Cat, Angel Mejia, Black Mamba90, and Kyle Schluter. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.